So what I've done here is I've set the the first and the, the well the, the I guess it would be the first and the second step below the porch. I set those two uh, pieces. There's the first one, and I wanted it to be as high up as I could go underneath the porch because I want it to retain everything that's in this area right here. I don't want it to squeeze behind that piece, so I had to make sure it's right up against the foundation. Then I put the second piece in. I compacted it with a hand tamper. I put in my small fence rail, which is about two and a half feet long, underneath that piece to get the level for the second height. Then I worked my way backwards. I put the level on top to make sure that it's bubbles uh, touching the line on the top. And as you can see, it is. And then I worked my way down six inches below the height of the level to the top of that fence rail. And that'll give me the top of where my third step has to, has to be leveled to. Like I have to level that area underneath. Between these two fence rails, I have to level this area to set my first step. And I'll do the same over on, on this side. First I'll, uh, I, I leveled the, uh, the area there for those two pieces to fit in there perfectly. And once they were fit in there perfectly, sloped towards the uh, inside away from the uh, flower bed, because you want to try to min minimize all your water that goes into the flower bed, because that'll cause uh, expansion when the frost and in heaving against your walls and your steps, and you don't want that to happen in the winter time. So I sloped it all towards the uh, middle. Then I put in the uh, fence rail there, made sure it sloped away. And right now I'm gonna measure the space between that fence rail and that fence rail, six inches down the top of this fence rail to the top of that fence rail and that'll give me my my top of my uh third my grade on my third uh fence rail and i'm using hpb here to a uh, level which makes it easy to uh level i've compacted it, hand tamped it you got to make sure you hand tamp it some people say you don't have to but it's always important to hand tamp 